What's up everybody, it's the Weld Machine guys. So right now, we're in the building stage. So I got some help. Uh, a guy that I work with said he would help me. But I'm gonna get some stuff done early. Um, not quite ready for help yet. Um, I gotta do a couple things. So first things first we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and each one of these columns is cut down to 10 foot, but we need to extend it six to five feet. Um, so what we got to do is we're going to weld the base plates on all nine of them. Yeah, all nine of them. <clears throat> and then go through there. And then the other side's got to have full pin. Um, but we're just going to weld the 10 foot section up, put it up in the respected spot. Just see what it looks like. Um, and then we'll have to take them back down so we can weld the other five to six feet on them. And it's got to be a full pin weld, full penetration, so it's got to be like a bevel all the way back down to like 45 degree to a, like with the eighth inch land. Um, and then we'll go from there and then I probably will end up needing help. Um, but right now it's just something simple, just to do something. Preparation is better than not being prepared. So we got that one. We can probably do. We can probably do almost a lot. Let's see. We move this grinder. Move this grinder out of the way. And we're probably gonna set up multiple. Multiple. Slide that one down. Or probably put a couple more out here. That way, but you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right there, you see that? If you go ahead and grind it and clean it up nice and decent, we'll clean up the base plates right down there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, really, it's all about getting that work in, you know? Okay. All right. So the tube is three by three tubing. Okay. So we'll check the tubing. We'll check it real quick. Yep. Three by three. All right. So the plate is six inches, right? So what's half of six? You got three. All right. Boom. Then you go, all right. What's the other dimensions? Half of six is three. So right now we're finding the center. We'll take our square or our speed square right here. You line it up, mark it from top to bottom, boom. Same thing with that side, boom, right there. So you got a nice cross etch mark right there, okay? So the tube is um, three inches. So you see we're on the three inch mark. So you go back an inch and a half. So you go one and then a half right there. And then you come off to the side right here. You go an inch and a half. Boom. Now you got your shape. You'll mark it. Mark the plate. And mark the plate. See? So now you got your layout. So you line up this and you can mark the center on the tube. And then when we set the plate, we'll do that. I'll show you. Slide that plate over. This plate. Now this plate is a little longer, so you'll mark it out. This is nine and three eighths. So half a nine is four and a half. Half three eighths is three sixteenths. So center will be four and 11 sixteenths. If you wanna check it, you should mark measure from the other side. Yep, and that's the center. Now the plate right here is three and a half. So half a three 
is an inch and a half. Half of half is a quarter, so that'd be one and three quarter. And then you'll just check that again from the other side, one and three quarter. So that's a quick way. And then you'll mark it as the same way as you did the other plate. Only part that's gonna be a little complicated is this part because it's such a narrow plate. So you gotta just be, hold that square tight so it'd be square, okay. Now, again, you do the same thing. You can put it on six. You know, the, t the plate is, um, or the tube is three inches, so inch and a half. So you got one and a half. And then you know this is three and a half. So what you can do is inch and a half. So you literally got uh, well, yeah, you got about a quarter on each side to weld. So, that's going to be a tight weld. You line it up again, like this. You will mark it. Same thing over here. You will mark it. Same thing right here. You will mark it. And that's how you lay out two different kind of plates. So, the top edge lines up with the top of the tube. This edge lines up with that, so you got a quarter inch weld on each side, on this side, so. All right, so now this is what we were talking about. So we got to mark the center of the tube. You know, the tube's three inches, so the center is an inch and a half. And do the same thing, check on the other side. And then check it on this side. All right, y'all, so. Pretty much we got a level on there we got a tack on there so now what we need to do we're going to attach the ground clamp to the actual plate now so the torpedo is to make sure it's level on the plate or on the tube or you know it's it's level right um now we're going to take this which is a anybody can tell me what this is if you tell me drop it down in the comments below if you know what this is all right, so you're gonna take this, make sure the plate's square.
all right guys so we're back as you can tell we got some columns up a lot of columns up we only got one two four six six columns up we've got nine got three right here excuse me oh. there you go quarter inch weld some of them five sixteenths depending on what side of it is on um we gotta take all these back down again because we gotta extend them i just put them up just to see what it looked like and i'm honestly i'm starting to see the building take shape now i am happy i'm doing it and it's finally coming together um so yeah let's i'm gonna do a little walk through right here for y'all i'm gonna try to make it look show y'all exactly what it looks like in a way it's kind of hard so you got all of these ones right here they all line up with one another Let's see if we can't do like a there you go maybe that will help y'all see see you guys that's what we got all right thank you guys for watching please like comment rate, and subscribe if you guys are new hit the notification bell every time i post you guys have a blessed day enjoy your hot summers